What is going on, people? It's your boy. I'm back. Apparently, there's some drama going on with a Star Wars YouTuber, something like that. And, you know, I don't really get into drama, okay? I'm not a drama channel, but I am a news channel to an extent, okay? So, I'm going to talk about this because it raises an interesting question that I felt was interesting to talk about. From what I understand from the situation, the guy wanted to make a short film or something like that about Luke Skywalker, and he uses Mark Hamill's likeness in the thing. It seems to be AI generated of some sort. Again, I don't know the exact details. I'm not in the computer room, the editing floor, okay? And this led to somebody asking Mark Hamill, hey Mark Hamill, did you let this guy use your likeness for a short film? And Mark Hamill said, no. To which people like freaked out. There's wars going on. Some people are siding with Mark Hamill. Some people are siding with the YouTuber. It's like Avengers Civil War, dude. Hot damn. Everyone's getting so up in arms about it. I saw somebody then ask in the comments of the Twitter thread and say, hey, why, uh, li listen to me here, why is Dark Vader's likeness not a big deal, but Mark Hamill's himself is? Why do you see Boba Fett? everywhere and the clone troopers everywhere but we can't use mark hamill what the heck it does raise an interesting point about likeness and i'm not an expert okay i don't have you know the legal handbook okay the sag aftra union handbook about the thing okay this is just my opinion so really i think star wars is a great example because there are a lot of iconic masked characters in the franchise right you have darth vader of course Boba Fett, Jango Fett, all of the Stormtroopers, General Grievous to an extent, the Inquisitors, the list goes on and on. The problem, however, arises when we get to Mark Hamill himself. Because Mark Hamill, the actor, is a draw to these movies as much as Luke is, especially now. Maybe not when the films are coming out, but especially now. Mark Hamill is an established and successful actor outside of just Luke Skywalker. If you're familiar with a lot of his voiceover work in particular. Dude, we're talking Avatar. We're talking the Joker. Hot damn, the dude is an amazing actor. Take Luke out of that, and he's still got a freaking beast resume. When you include Mark Hamill's likeness in this, you are profiting off of Mark Hamill himself, not just Luke. If we were to throw this over to a different franchise, let's say we take Marvel, okay? You can take Iron Man, right? If they show an Iron Man helmet, an Iron Man suit in the next trailer for, let's say, the Captain America, the New World, or whatever it's called, in that movie, people will be like, whoa, someone's got an Iron Man suit. If we see that Robert Downey Jr. is gonna be in the movie, this movie will be selling tickets off of the fact that Robert Downey Jr. is attached to this. People want to go and see him, therefore, that is going to influence people's decision in going to see a movie. When you use Mark Hamill's likeness to sell quote unquote, a short film, people are going to be interested because it makes them feel good. It makes them think about Mark Hamill. It's not just Luke, it's the actor themselves. And the actors themselves and their skills and their abilities, that leads to people being interested in certain projects. We're obviously going through a whole renaissance right now with the whole matter of AI and we can make freaking anyone look like anyone. I can probably make it look like freaking LeBron James is giving this talk about Mark Hamill and Star Wars, but that's not real. Because again, even if I did that, people would be like, wow, that's LeBron James. Let me click on that video. That's just lying and lying is bad. So yeah, those are kind of just my quick thoughts on the matter. Um, I don't know what's going on with that situation. N no hate to the YouTuber, I guess. Or Mark Hamill, honestly. I love Mark Hamill. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's the video. I make a new video every single day. Hit subscribe. Bye-bye.